Hey, in today's Privacy Deep video, I'm going to show you how you can get browser fingerprinted even with JavaScript disabled and why is it extremely important to use the Tor browser in its default settings without even without changing the the window size. Now, on this random website, what's my res? Uh, the page calculated my screen resolution with JavaScript. Uh, if I enlarge in the window to my specific uh, laptop and refresh the page, uh, it's going to show it's uh, 1600. If you change the settings to the strictest mode in 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 the Tor browser, meaning uh, the safest, meaning the JavaScript is disabled by default on all sides, if I go back to this site and refresh it, uh, it can't get the data, right? But I'm going to show you how you can get fingerprinted, fingerprinted even without that. So I've made some simple code, simple, simple HTML websites. You can use CSS or HTML only to get this information. Okay. So if you if you study the the media rule, which is in CSS three the current current version or current specification of CSS supported by all browsers currently using you can you can uh, condition the website styling based on the width of the viewport okay viewport meaning the the window viewport currently browsing page so you can say uh, media which can be screen or all media even printed uh, and min width, whatever value, and then you can decide the styles according to that. Now this is used to make the website responsive. So you can say that the small resolutions gonna get the font bigger, and the menu is gonna get disappeared, and they're gonna show you the, the, the burger menu. But you can also use it so that you create an extremely, <laughs> extremely large rule set of min width and once the viewport gets into the into the condition you specify you are going to apply styles and in my case I'm going to apply a background image to a div tag which I have uh, right below it but it doesn't really matter what what the, the tag is and the background image calls for an external image which is attackers websites uh, and some code that's going to get the parameter as the, the, the data as a parameter. Okay, so here I, if I go to network tab and clear the data and refresh the page, or reload the page, yeah, I'm sorry, I had to, had to adjust the, the ratio. As you can see, it calculates it that the, the media, the media rule, got me into 514, and if I have it larger, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm requesting this artificially created image on my server, and feeding the data as a parameter for that image. Now you can make it look clean. You can at the you know at a server side in this code PHP you can actually output some image, and it it can be invisible image or whatever. The point is that you can make an HTTP request with CSS using this technique, and in combination with MediaTek, uh, the media rule of CSS, you can specify and you can detect what screen resolution the user has. So you can do that. And there is also the, the media, the media rule can also be used to detect the orientation of the device. So if it's a portrait, you can call for, uh, you can think that the device is a phone and if it's a landscape, you can, you can you know, calculate that it's desktop. Now, if I have it like this, it's desktop, and if I shrink in the bar, it's gonna get the request for the phone because the CSS style detected it with its media attribute. 
if I go back here, no, it's not gonna get another request because I've already requested it. But it doesn't matter how it reacts on site already loaded. The point is that the first visit can get the data as they are true. And you can also yeah, you can also detect if the user changes its ori orientation. Now that's not all. You can also use current new supports uh, CSS rule, which detects if the browser supports CSS feature. Now you can go to canius.com and say, let's say display grid or I don't know, a flex, which is a property of CSS, which you can very nicely build websites with and organize them on a page into containers that can actually flex and shrink and grow and whatnot. And you can choose specific features and you can say, supports meaning if if this current browser supports such feature do whatever and this whatever can be again calling my malicious uh, image and passing the the data i've collected and you can then pinpoint with certain attributes supported by the browser to detect what browser it actually is because if you yeah if you use if you use grid which is another CSS property, you can get the, the support here in a table. So you can choose, yeah, if you subgrid and the, the CSS catches it, then you can request it uh, on your server and get the fact that the, the browser is actually Firefox, okay? And these techniques can be combined with all the media possibilities and you can get a pretty good information even with uh, JavaScript disable and that being said the same technique can be used even without CSS and which is somewhat true because in HTML5 standard specification there is this picture tag which replaces the image tag or actually bundles it within itself and here you can see that there is this picture tag and inside there is this image as a last child element and it's also it's, a, it's just a fallback and then you get a source with the URL to the source and the media attribute of the HTML source tag within the picture tag and the media does absolutely the same as the media at media in CSS rule like here so you can you can use these I have demonstrated on this this shows corrupted image because there is no actual image on the attacker.com domain. But if I load it as it is, I got a 800 because I've created the picture tag with three sources, each of them being different viewport width. So if I go if I go down, I request the 500 image. So you can collect on a, you can collect all these data using the attribute sort of hack with requests from CSS or HTML only and this is the crucial part to say that that's why it's important to keep the browser uh, the Tor browser as it is in its defaults ratio and don't touch that and don't even try to change any default settings now I have some extensions here which is also a, a sort of a privacy leak but I'm testing them out and testing the, the fingerprint possibilities of detecting, detecting uh, the extensions. So uh, 